This is the way most people see Washington, D.C. A city of famous monuments and residences arrayed along wide boulevards that radiate out from the capital up of secret architecture, mysterious symbols, and world-famous avenues designed not for traffic, but for astrology. Pennsylvania Avenue is the equivalent of an ancient Egyptian temple which has been opened up to the, to the sky. Ovason laid out his case in his book, The Secret Architecture of Our Nation's Capital. He took us for a tour a few months ago to show just how our nation's capital is related to the Zodiac. Why? Well, he says many of the city's planners were members of the fraternal organization, the Freemasons, and they wanted to orient the layout of Washington to the stars. Most of them were not astrologers in the, the accepted sense of the word, but they were certainly astronomers, and they were certainly deeply interested in the myth of the stars. And one astrological sign in particular, Virgo, the Virgin. The qualities associated with Virgo are prosperity, energy, kindness, all fitting a young nation experimenting with democracy. The idea that this city would be the center of a new empire, but it would have its temples to the stars just as the Romans and the Greeks built. The secret of Washington DC was as an entirely new city built upon waste farmland. So you, you were able to start literally anew, and this is what they did. Take the triangle formed by the White House, the Washington Monument, and the Capitol. Ovasin claims it was laid out that so each part of that triangle corresponds to a major star surrounding the constellation of Virgo. And he maintains that Pennsylvania Avenue was laid out so that in mid-August the sun will shine directly down the entire length of the street, giving the U.S. Capitol a clear view of the setting sun. And here's more proof, according to David Ovasin, the top of the old post office building on Pennsylvania Avenue is also designed so that that mid-August sun will cut right through it, imitating exactly the radiant triangle around the so-called all-seeing eye on the dollar bill, a key Masonic symbol. Other Masonic theorists point out patterns in the way Washington streets are laid out. Connect the major traffic circles and you can clearly see a five-pointed star, an important symbol for Freemasons. Near the Capitol, streets form a replica of the square and compass, probably the most familiar Masonic trademark. Well, it's a very grand thought. But it's one that Charles Atherton of the DC Fine Arts Commission just doesn't buy. There's nothing wrong with a little mysticism here and there. I just don't agree that that's what drove any kind of practical planning in the city. Instead, Atherton says, when DC's chief architect, Pierre L'Enfant, drew the city plan up in 1791, he was more concerned with the natural flow of the land, not the stars. And at the Washington headquarters of the Freemasons, the organization's grand historian argues there's another good reason not to believe that D.C. is a Masonic creation. L'Enfant was not a Mason. But Ovasin, who's a Mason himself, says the secret symbols were just hidden to avoid stirring up anti-Mason feelings. Well, I think that the Masons themselves had this um, technique of attempting to say things to their followers and to fellow Masons with totally ignoring the, the populace at large. George Washington used Masonic rituals and wore a Masonic apron when he laid the cornerstone of the Capitol in 1793. A special silver trowel made for the occasion was also used in similar cornerstone ceremonies for more than a dozen other federal buildings, including the Washington Monument, the Smithsonian, and the National Cathedral. Other symbols, though, you probably walk by every day without ever noticing. The zodiac is on the, on the periphery. Washington has over 50 zodiacs, circles containing the 12 astrological signs. According to Avasin, you can find them in public buildings like the Federal Reserve, the Library of Congress, even the U.S. Capitol, like this one, on the memorial to President James Garfield on the south side of the Capitol, and this one, across from the National Gallery. It's dedicated to its benefactor, Andrew Mellon, Mellon, of course, was a mason, and uh, it was designed by some brother masons and placed here at the behest of brother masons. So it's very much a Masonic thing. Or maybe it's just coincidence. There may be zodiacs throughout the city, but the study of astrology has nothing to do with Freemasonry. There's no degree of Freemasonry with which I'm familiar. Still, to true believers, Washington, D.C. is not just a city of politics and power. It is a city of the stars. Michael Gargiulo, Fox 5 News. According to Ovasin, Washington, D.C. isn't the only instance of secret codes. In fact, 
He's written another entire book on the secret symbols and hidden meanings behind the complex graphic design of the dollar bill. Coming up. A breakthrough for couples having trouble conceiving the, the new procedure that is creating super sperm. Plus, the fiery 